Hi, you're watching Academy Music TV. We are at Reading 2019 and joining me right now are the Snaps. How are you doing? Ooh, how are we doing? Not bad, how's yourself? Fine. <laughs> yeah. Every single person I speak to, the more and more we just get more and more sweaty. Uh, we as just, we're Scottish. That's just like going off. I, don't believe it. I know, I know <laughs> the pain. I know uh. the pain. Um, you're back at Reading Festival a year on from the BBC introducing yeah. Slot and you're jumping up a stage, the Festival Republic stage. Plan. How would you summarise the past year for your band? Uh, it's been really good. It's always been a kind of constant progression for us, trying to, uh, like you say, kind of moving up stages and stuff like that. It's always what we wanted to do. We wanted to kind of make a bigger impression at every festival we go to, so it's been good. It's been a busy summer. I kind of see home less and less uh, as the summers get, get deeper. Too much sunshine for us. Like This is like, we're, we're happy with one day a year like this in Scotland. Yeah. This is like, we've, every festival we've played this year has been like 30 degrees. Yeah. So just, just I know most people would like that, but we certainly don't like that. <laughs> just not used to it, No, nah, not at all. Okay. Um, and your year started off pretty well with signing to Parlophone, okay. so congratulations yeah, yeah. with that. So and you've been sort of releasing little bits of new music here and there. So has that kind of been the main focus for 2019, just writing, recording? Pretty much. Just kind of try to uh, put everything together we've got a, a crazy live schedule that we kind of put ourselves under at the start of the year um, and we're going on our own headline tour and then we're going on tour with uh, Capaldi as well so it's just kind of writing and uh, recording in between and just try to tie everything up for next year really yeah so what's the process for like songwriting for you is there just like one core member that kind of brings everything together or is it like a group uh, jam session what's good, what's good about like kind of this year especially is we're kind of writing in a different way and stuff like that because we're spending doing more writing in the studio, which you kind of hear a lot of bands say, but instead of writing on our own and stuff like that, so just kind of try to try new stuff out, try and make some more kind of fresh noises and just mix things up a bit. Yeah. So it has, like, it's all your friends and the singles you put out so far, is that a good indication of what's to come? Or are you going to throw in a few curve I think I think, I think everything is going to be, everything we release this year certainly is going to be something a wee bit different. Just try to kind of put something new into a kind of indie scene that's a bit bland at the moment, in our opinion, so it's just about kind of seeing what works, maybe take take some risks and just see when, and then the album's probably going to be a mix of everything that we do. A little bit, a little bit of everything. Aye. And um, you've had, obviously, like, a wealth of support back home in Scotland, and it seems to be, like, a really close-knit music community. Like, yeah, what right. is it about that music scene that's so good? Well, it's kind of... It's kind of like Scotland, there's kind of a couple of different music scenes in Scotland, so it's like, there's kind of a, a kind of cliquey scene uh, right across the central belt, and we're kind of, we didn't really sit in that scene, we kind of do our own thing, we don't really like, we're not really part of the leather jacket, black jean brigade, if you can what I mean, so it's like, uh, we kind of do our own thing, so, uh, we kind of make our own scene. Uh, like, in Scotland it's quite good, you see it kind of, there's a lot of music coming out of Scotland at the moment, and I think... Uh, kind of Scottish people like to see the progression for people going for kind of playing to like 50 people and then watching them going to a bigger stage a bigger stage and they can really kind of be a part of that journey with a band or an artist so it's, it's always kind of been like that in Scotland and I know in a lot of other places as well. Yeah, it's nice, I uh, like it's it. Brilliant. Okay, really it's, yeah, it's motivating, Scottish fans are great at motivating artists. Yeah. And I saw as well that you're offering to kind of take some local bands yeah. out on tour with you. Are there any that you think, like in your local scene, that are really, really good that we should be keeping an eye on? Yeah, uh, definitely. Especially like, we. I mean, we can only really speak for our like kind of local scene. So we're from a place called like West Lothian. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like where Capaldi came from. There's a uh, a guy Mark Sharp as well, and a guy Luke Lavope. These are like kind of great kind of new artists that you're going to hear a lot more. Of. So that's kind of yeah. Especially, uh, especially for yeah, it's a VR, small scene. Early like, wheels are kind of probably there's probably about like fifteen thousand people where we're from, and as these artists are all coming out there, so it's. Definitely wants to check out. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll go back and listen to them. Remember. Sure. Okay. Um, and speaking of the upcoming tour, what is like? How would you sum up a snot show? Like, what happens? What goes down? What do you bring to stage? Uh, it's kind of high energy. Uh, kind of, we're talking about needing to maybe tone that back a bit because we're all <laughs> fucked after uh, it. Um, it's kind of full of adrenaline, man. We kind of really feed that. off the crowd. We, yeah. we get really used to. Uh, kind of spoiled with great crowds this year and last so it's kind of the more that we kind of get the more we're given every time uh, it's kind of it's, it's meant the music that we write and the, the way we play it and the way we set everything up is so that kind of the crowd can be a huge part of what we're doing you know i want it to be as important to them as it is to us so that's kind of what you can expect always for us in that show you know we've always kind of wrote songs with like a kind of live like kind of atmosphere in mind like so kind of our songs are quite dyna dynamic and they kind of feed a lot to the crowd and it get, lets them feed a lot back to us as well it's good cool. well thank you very much for talking to me
enjoy your set later. It's going to be, I'll let you go out and kiss some air. I don't know if it's any better outside because it's direct sunlight, but enjoy the rest of your weekend.